What's up guys, Tavius here. Today we're talking about Titan Bubbles. The best Titan Vault 3.0 support build there is for Crucible, Trials, Nightfalls, and to grind those solo Legend Lost Sectors for Exotics. As you can probably tell, I'm a little under the weather at the moment, so excuse my voice. As usual, first we'll go over our aspects and fragments, then we'll jump over to the armor and armor mods I'll be using, then some weapons to complement the build with a recap at the end. Without further delay, let's jump into the video. So, with our World of Dawn bubble, we have a base cooldown of only 6 minutes 57 seconds, making it the fastest super ability for the Titan. We're going to be using our Tyrant Barricade to give us the extra protection. The Rally Barricade can be used if you're running Vanguard Operations or other low-level activities, since it gives us an extra buff to reload speed, stability, and range while standing behind it, but can't really pass on our Tyrant Barricade because of how much bigger it is. We're using our Shield Throw to stay safe at a distance, and Vortex Grenade. Keep in mind that hitting targets with their shield throw grants us an overshield. Now going over the aspects, we've got Offensive Bulwark. While you have an overshield or are inside War of Dawn, your grenade recharges faster. You have increased melee range and damage, and melee final blows extend the duration of your overshield. Then we're going with Bastion for the second aspect. Casting your super grants an overshield to nearby allies. Casting your barricade grants overshield to yourself and nearby allies and empowers it, enabling it to slowly regenerate the overshield of allies bunkering behind it and extend their overshield duration. This bastion barricade stays up for 20 seconds if enemies don't damage it, so even if your teammates aren't close to you when you cast your barricade, they can come to it a few seconds later and still get the overshield just by getting behind it for a few seconds. Okay, so moving on to our fragments, we have only 3 fragments with this build because of the Bastion aspect only giving us 1 slot. Our first fragment is the Echo of Instability, to give volatile rounds to our Void weapons by defeating targets with grenades. Next we have the Echo of Undermining, to weaken targets with grenades. This one's a must for champions and bosses. And last we have the Echo of Persistence, which extends the duration of Invisibility, Overshield and Devour. The increase is 50%, so without it, the Bastion Overshield lasts 10 seconds, and with this fragment goes up to 15 seconds. Also, the shield you get by hitting enemies with your throw and shield goes up to 18 seconds for one enemy hit. Now that we have the subclass out of the way, let's talk about armor and armor mods. So for my exotic helmet, I'm going with Precious Cars. Here's why, hear me out. I did lots of testing with the helm of Saint 14, try to get something exciting out of it, and I could not. The Helm of Saint 14 blinds enemies who enter our bubble, and grants overshields to teammates who enter it. I'm already granting overshields to my teammates with the Bastion aspect, so that part is useless, and the blinding of enemies makes them back out of my bubble as soon as they enter, which for this build, I prefer if they stay inside my bubble a little longer. Sorry Helm of Saint 14, you're out. Precious Scars creates a burst of healing around me with every void weapon kill and after reviving or being revived by a teammate, you gain an aura that provides overshield to you and nearby allies. This is way more useful than the Helm of Saint 14 in Nightfalls, Gambit, Crucible and Trials. Now for the mods I've equipped on this helmet, I've got Dynamo, reduces super cooldown when using my Bastion Barricade near targets. Then I have Harmonic Siphon, rapid void final blows create an orb of power. And the Well of Tenacity mod. Picking up Void Elemental Wells reduces the damage you take from combatants for a short period of time. If you don't have the Well of Tenacity mod, another good one is the Well of Utility mod, or Reaping Wellmaker even. Moving on to the arms, I have a Scout Rifle Anti-Barrier for those annoying champions, then Melee Kickstart to try and get our shield throw back quicker, and Font of Might from the Seasonal Artifact. Picking up Void Elemental Wells grants a temporary bonus to Void Weapon damage. So all your Void Weapons will deal more damage after picking up a Void Elemental Well. Really good mod to have, I have not taken it off since it released. For my chest piece, I went with Fusion Rifle Reserves, Thermoshock Plating to reduce incoming solar and arc damage, and Volatile Flow to gain Volatile Rounds by picking up Void Elemental Wells. So now we'll get Volatile Rounds with the Grenade Kill and by picking up Void Elemental Wells. On my legs, I went with Recuperation, which replenishes health each time you pick up a normal power. You never know when you're gonna need a bit of health. Fusion Rifle Scavenger, and Font of Wisdom. Picking up a Void Elemental Well maxes out your intellect for a short period of time, improving the recharge rate of your super. With this mod equipped, you don't necessarily have to have your intellect maxed out to get fast supers, since each time you pick up an Elemental Well, your intellect goes up to tier 10. And last, for the class item. I've got Overload Grenades to stun Overload Champions, 
Then I have Distribution, which reduces all ability cooldowns when using your class ability near targets. And the last one, Elemental Armaments, to spawn Void Elemental Wells with Void Weapon Kills. And that's my armor and mods. Now for my stats, well, they are pretty spread out since our Ward of Dawn Super has a pretty fast cooldown on its own, and Font of Wisdom raises my intellect to 100 with Elemental Wells, so I don't need to spec for intellect and instead spec for grenade, melee, or ability. Now let's talk about some weapon options. For my kinetic weapon, I'm using the Gambit Scout Rifle Servant Leader. This scout rifle is a rapid fire frame which makes it almost an auto rifle with full auto, rapid hit and osmosis. Osmosis turns this weapon into a void weapon by using a grenade until you stow it, taking advantage of volatile, font of mind, elemental armaments and proccing the burst of healing with our exotic helmet precious scars. There are so many advantages to having an osmosis kinetic weapon, especially for long range since our special weapon we're going with is a fusion rifle. Another osmosic kinetic weapon is the Sidearm Traveler's Chosen with Catalyst, which doesn't have as much range as a scout, but it's an option. For my energy weapon, we're going with Telesto. Telesto will be the one to do most of the heavy lifting here, getting volatile rounds and a buff to its damage, and also generating elemental wells and orbs of power. If you want to open your exotic slot for a heavy or kinetic weapon, you can go for other void options like the Null Composure from Season of the Splicer, the Glacioclasm from the Dawning Event, or the new Snorri FR5 with a good roll, of course. Now, for the heavy weapon, I'm going to be using my favorite Titan sword, the Crown Splitter, with Thresh and Vorpal weapon for bosses. It is a void weapon, so it will get all the bonuses to void weapons I previously mentioned, plus it generating super energy with Thresh and extra damage on bosses with Vorpal weapon. If you're trying to avoid being up close with bosses with your sword, a nice Void Rocket Launcher will do great, but for me personally, I like to go in and drop my bubble on top of the boss and go at it with my sword. This is one of the reasons why Helm of Saint 14 didn't work with this build. Enemies get blinded as they go into the bubble and back out. This is great for solo playing, but if you're playing with the fire team, be aware that the bubble blocks your teammates' damage also, so if they aren't inside the bubble, they won't be able to hit the boss. Telesto lovers, hear me out. With this Titan bubble build, we're going to be shielding, healing, and supporting our teammates. Our barricade gives an overshield to you and your allies for 15 seconds with the Bastion aspect and the Echo of Persistence. Our throwing shield also grants us an overshield with enemy hits, and our Vortex grenade weakens targets with the Echo from their mining, while kills with our grenade grants us volatile rounds and void elemental wells. These Void Elemental Wells will grant us quite a few buffs like Damage Resistance with the Well of Tenacity mod, Bonus Weapon Damage with Font of Might, Volatile with Volatile Flow, and Increased Intellect with Font of Wisdom so we can pop bubbles super fast and blow everything up with Telesto. And there it is my friends, Time Bubbles and Telesto with Precious Scars in the Bastion aspect. Hope you found this video informative. If you did, a like and heavy attack on the subscribe button is greatly appreciated. If you have any suggestions or if you'd like me to make a build around a certain exotic, let me know down in the comments. If you want to contact me and meet other Destiny players, you can join my new Discord community down in the description. My name is Tavius Place, thank you all for watching, and if you'd like to watch other informative Destiny 2 videos, you can click right here. the last one.